Oh my gosh, guys. We got drama. So much freaking drama. I'm so shook right now. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux. In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh my gosh, guys. Every time I talk about Laura Lee, I just get massive amount, massive, massive amounts of hate. Well, Rich Lux. How dare you talk about Laura Lee? She's a queen, G girl. <laughs> you think they act? You think people actually attack me, G girl? Well, I do. I do get there. She's Laura Lee. Let it be known in the comments. Let it be known. Laura Lee still has some diehard fans. Okay, they still do attack. Why are you talking about Laura Lee, you fat bitch? You should never talk about Laura Lee. She's a queen. Girl, they do. Trisha Paytas, I, I, girl, Trisha Paytas following is just like, I don't, I can't even describe it. It's, a, I think a lot of them love her, a lot of them hate her, and a lot of them are just there just to see if a boob slips out. That's just my opinion about it. But the Laura Leach fans, they, 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 they go hard. They go hard and they're strong. So I have to tread lightly. When I talk about Laura Lee, I have to be careful because her millions of fans will attack me the house. Well, Red Lex, you fat bitch. How dare you talk about Laura Lee? You already know how it goes. So you already know. Oh, honey. When will it end, honey? When will it end the hot? Well, look. Okay, for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, welcome to the YouTube channel where we talk about how horrible everyone's makeup is. Welcome to the YouTube channel where we talk about other YouTubers, okay? Well, Trisha Paytas or Trisha Paytas, or Trisha Pastas, or Trisha anything for views is at it again, guys. Okay, she just posted a video where she's playing with toys, adult toys, which I always kind of wondered like, girl, what are you doing, Trisha? Are you seriously? I feel like, okay, so Trisha Paytas does these sponsored videos where she unbox adult toys. She also does sponsored videos where she like wears lingerie. And I kind of felt like, well, I, as of this year, I started thinking about it. And I was like, why is she doing that? Like, she has enough money where she can start her own toy company and her own lingerie company that she could stop doing these chicken shit gigs where she has to do it for other companies. She could have her own. It's her brand. I can so see her having her own lingerie and her own toy company. I would buy it. I would buy it at the house. And Trisha Paytas lube. Girl, Trisha Paytas nightgowns the house with oh my god okay okay before we get into the drama i have to tell you this okay so i used to have this friend right i love her so much she's a good old 500 pounds but she used to get guys all the time all the non-stop all the time right well you know when you're a big girl 500 pounder you know, love her so much biggest boat you can't really wear all the sexy lingerie and, and you kind of like want to just get to the action you know so my friend legit, legitimately invented this outfit that she would wear. Well, he, whatever you want to call it, he would wear. And okay, let me show you the outfit. Okay, so like it had a hole for the neck, and it had like a giant slit right here. So I would say it was like a moo moo. Okay, and I would be like, "Oh, girl, that's your sex moo moo, honey." He's like, "Oh yeah, honey," because then when the trade comes over. I just kind of like pick it up in the back. And I'm like, oh my God, easy access girl. She's like, oh, I live, honey, I live. And she had it like real short. So it wasn't like a moo moo all the way down to the ground. It was like a, like a baby doll dress for big girls, right? And so I used to call it her fuckable moo moo, honey. I was like, oh girl, the fuckable moo moo of the house. She's like, yes, man, I love it so much. And like, I'm like, girl, you need to invent that. Trisha Paytas, you know what? I'll probably invent the fuckable moo moo, honey. I love it so much. But it's cute. It was like, it was like very see-through, kind of like, and silky, and then real short for a big old 500 pounder, honey. I'm telling you, it was amazing. Okay, what we're talking about? Oh yeah, Trisha Paytas, anything for views. Okay, so Trisha Paytas should have her own company instead of doing these sponsored videos. Okay, well in her sponsored video of the toys, uh, I think it's around six minutes and something mark. She says, I should have next time I'll give this away as a white elephant. Then she makes a few gestures. And then she says something about like someone's sex life or I don't know their sex life or people's sex. I don't know what it is. So the people in the comments and the Reddit and online and the blogs 
We're saying Trisha Paytas shaded Laura Leach, the house. And I'm like, well, it, it was a little shade. It wasn't the shade that I, I like, you know what I'm saying? But I kind of feel, it's like the third time that Trisha Paytas came for Laura Lee. And Laura Lee still hasn't said anything at all. If Trisha Paytas keeps dissing Laura Lee, and Laura Lee doesn't do anything, it's gonna make, it's gonna make Trisha Paytas like a bully. Now what I expect to happen, cause you know I'm a psychic drama channel, I bet you Laura Lee is gonna be like, you know what, I've had it. I can't sell no makeup. Nobody's buying my damn palettes. I can't make a video. No one's watching my damn, I can't get no views, save my life. No one watches my video, losing subscribers, can't sell makeup. I've had it. And she's gonna go online and attack Trisha Paytas. And it'll be a war, honey. And Nudie patooties. Wait, is that what she calls her, her fans? No, she calls them cat's pajamas, whatever. She'll be like, cat's pajamas, attack. And all four of her subscribers We'll run over there, Trisha Paytas Instagram, and be like, you're a snake. And leave little snake emojis. Girl, I'm telling you, they're just attack. And Trisha Paytas, what she call her fan? Her, she calls them fishes. Then Trisha Paytas would be like, oh, my fishes, attack. And then they'll all go over to Laura Lee's account and listen to it. It'll just be drama. And then Jeffree Star being in the middle like, I don't know why they're fighting. That ain't my beef. I'm glad I'm not in this drama. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so once again, Laura Lee's got shaded the house by Trisha Paytas. And I think people are, are loving it. I think they're like, yeah, get her, girl, get her, girl. But it was kind of like, I think Trisha could have came harder, you know? Oh, oh, you know what? I remember this one time. Oh my God, I can't even tell you this story. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, I remember this one time when I was in middle school, I had played basketball and I thought I was all butch the house. And I remember we were, what were, what were we called? We were called the Hornets. We were called, that's the basketball team. My basketball team is called the Hornets, okay? And like I said, this was middle school and I had to go to stupid practice. Oh my gosh, so I'm born in the house. And I was horrible at basketball. You know, I missed everything. Nobody passed me the ball. I couldn't shoot a three-pointer to save my life. Just, I just sucked at it. But I liked the running around part because I felt like I was exercising and I was like around some of the cute guys. But then back then I didn't really know I was gay, but whatever. But look at me now. Oh my gosh, okay, I just turned out just fine, didn't I? So then there was this kid. I remember there was this kid. I think his name was Chris. Was it? I don't know. But there was this kid. He kept he kept making fun of me. He kept messing with me. The whole entire scrimmage practice we were doing, right? I remember my dad, well, you know, my dad rest his soul. This is before he went to go be with the Lord. Love him so much. He would drive me to the basketball game and then he would go home. But then this time was very specific. This time, very interesting team. He showed up like 30 minutes before practice because usually he would be waiting for me outside in the parking lot. This time, he showed up a little early to watch me, you know, scrimmage around, right? And he saw that that kid was kept poking fun of me and pushing me and like whatever. And I was like all fat and shy, girl. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you being such a bully? So he would like, he would keep poking the bear, girl. He kept poking me. And people would laugh, whatever. And I remember, I never forget. I didn't know my dad was watching. I looked up. <laughs> oh my God. I looked up. I remember this like, yes. Oh, I don't want to cry. Cause, you know, my dad's gone. I'm so emotional. Okay. I looked up and my dad was like watching me practice. So he saw what was going on. So when I looked up, my dad went like, like this. You know, like he was like, you know, you know, hit, hit the kid, right? So then we were the same age. Me and that kid were the same age. We were in the same grade. And I just felt like, you know what? Yeah. Because my dad told me to do it. I was, you know, my dad wasn't the best dad in the world. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> so I guess I, I was like, I didn't want to like be seen as weak or whatever. Or like, I didn't, I didn't want to. I knew that if I didn't do anything, my dad would be like, no, 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 no. You gotta mess with you, blah, 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 blah. So then I went up to him. And I remember I politely tapped him on the shoulder and he turned around and I hit him in the face. Like, boom. And he collapsed right there. He just collapsed. He was like, oh my, I never forget this. He said, oh my nose. And I was like, that's what you get, bitch. And everybody was like, damn, damn, Rich hit Chris. If that was even his name, Rich hit Chris in the face, damn, girl. I, I remember the coach didn't even see, like, I was so lucky I didn't get in trouble. 
Nobody saw, but like the little the little friends, his little friends and stuff. And he ran to the restroom to go like wash his nose or whatever. By that time, the practice was already over. That's why I didn't get caught. Practice is already over. Everyone's wrapping up to go. So I hit him. He ran in the restroom. And then I remember I walked to my dad. He got in the truck. And my dad was like, I don't even remember what he told me. To this day, I don't remember. And I just remember like feeling so empowered. Although, later on, I told my mom, and she was like, you shouldn't be here, and I ended up getting in trouble. She got mad at my dad. I was grounded, and now that I think back at it, I shouldn't have hit him, but in a way, I was kind of glad I did, but then I shouldn't have. That makes sense. I just felt bad. I said that I just felt bad about it. So, Chris, if you're watching me, girl, look at me now, and I'm sorry I punched you in the face, girl, but you just kept messing with me in the house, and my dad told me to do it, and I was a little kid. I was under influence whatever you want to call it. So don't blame me. So how do, oh yeah, back to Trisha Paytas, girl. I feel like if Trisha Paytas somehow, this all relates back to her, right? If Trisha Paytas keeps poking Laura Lee, Laura Lee is going to run over there and punch her in the face, okay? And best believe when she does, I'm going to be there. Can I get a statement? And Laura Lee's going to be like, what statement? I hit her in the face. She kept talking shit about me every day on YouTube. So I went up there and just punched her in the face. That's gonna be the statement all day long. Although Laura Lee should say she slipped and fell, and that's how her church pays end up getting hit, hit. I don't know, but then a part of me wants to think, what if it's all secret drama and they're all playing it up for the camera? That always crosses my mind too. All right guys, if you liked the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. They lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have music and merchandise down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.